Hello students, welcome to Short of Such Classes. So in today's video, we'll be talking about international economics. So we'll be talking about international economics. To be very specific, we'll be talking about Stolper-Samuelson theorem. So we'll be talking about Stolper-Samuelson theorem. So which is also known as SS theorem. So we'll be talking about Stolper. So we'll be talking about Stolper Samuelson theorem. So in this theorem it is given and increases the price of cloth relative to that of food will raise the income of workers to that of landowners. So an increase in the price of cloth relative to that of food will raise the income of worker that of landowner. So first of all we need to know that is in Stolper Samuelson theorem he basically shows the relationship between prices of commodities and prices of factors. So he basically talks about the relationship between prices of commodities. So he basically talks about the prices of commodities and prices of factors. So he talks about the prices of commodities and prices of factors. Now we know that is we will simply do what we will simply explain there is increase in price of cloth relative to that of food will raise the income of workers to that of landowners so increase in price of price of cloth so we first of all we need to make the assumption that the cloth production use the cloth production use workers or laborers intensively So first of all we need to make the assumption that cloth or cloth workers use the use what that is increasing price of cloth related to that of food will raise the income of workers to that of landowners increasing price of cloth relative to that of food so that means cloth production uses workers intensively now we also know that is the production of food uses not workers intensively rather land intensively So, food production of food uses land intensively. Now, we also know that is a change in relative prices will unambiguously raise the purchasing power of workers and lower the purchasing power of landowners by raising the real wages and lowering the real rent in terms of both goods. So, in case of increase in price of cloth, suppose there is increase in price of cloth. So, if there is increase in price of cloth, we know what? If there is increase in price of cloth, Relative to that of food, relative to that of food, it will do what? It will raise the income of workers to that of landowners. It will raise the income of workers
so it will raise the income of workers to that of land owners now we know a change in relative price a change in relative price we know a change in relative price do well what it will unambiguously raise the purchasing power of workers it will unambiguously increase or raise the purchasing power it will raise the purchasing power of workers to that of land owners to that of land owners purchasing power of it will increase the purchasing power of workers to that of land owners so in this case there will be an increasing purchasing power of workers to that of land owners now we know that there is a if there is a change in relative price will unambiguously raise the purchasing power of workers and lower the purchasing power of land owners by raising real wages and lowering real rent so here what happens is that there is an increasing purchasing power of workers to that of land owners so we know if there is a change in relative price will unambiguously raise the purchasing power of workers and lower the purchasing power of and lower the purchasing power of land owners owners so here we know that is a relative price will ambiguously do what it will raise the purchasing power of workers and lower the purchasing power of land owners by raising the real wage so it will raise the raise the real wage will increase as the price which uses intensively labor has increased that is of cloth and the real rents in terms of wood good will go down and the real rain will fall so this we know now we'll further go into the explanation of this so we know give the relative price of cloth we know the relative price of cloth is given by pc by pf so relative price of cloth is given by pc by pf 1 this is relative price of cloth we know there is the ratio of wage rate to rental rate on land must equal to w by r so we know given the price of cloth relative price of cloth the ratio of wage rate to rental rate of land must equal so we know relative wage must equal what it must equal the wage rate to rental rate this wage rental ratio then implies that the ratio of land to labor the ratio of land to labor employed in the production of cloth food must be tc by tl so for this we'll write it as tc by tl sorry it will be tc by lc so it says what the wage rental ratio implies that the ratio of land to labor 
ratio of land to labor in the production of cloth and food so this is ratio of land to labor so the ratio of land to labor is what it is T tc by lc in place of cloth production and it is tf by lf in case of ratio of land to labor this is in case of cloth production and this is in case of food production so now we know that is it is respectively if the real relative price of cloth rises to pc pf now we are assuming the relative price of cloth which was this now if it rises to pc by pf to what happens is that the real rental ratio must also rise this also rise to w by r 2 so this will cause the la land labor ratio used in production of both goods to rise this will cause the land labor ratio ratio used in the production of both group using production of both good to rise now we know however in a competitive economy factors of production are paid their marginal product the real wage of workers in terms of cloth is equal to marginal product of labor in cloth production and so on when the ratio of land to labor rises in producing either good the mpl in terms of good increases so the real wage is higher in terms of both good in constant to mpl of land which is mpt falls in both industries so the real income for land owners falls so in competitive economy we know factors of production are paid according to their factors of production are paid according to what they are paid according to their marginal product so factors of production are paid according to their marginal product which is nothing but now we know mpl is what it is the marginal product of labor in cloth production and when the ratio of land to labor is rises producing either goods the mpl in terms of good also increases so it will also increase when land to labor rises in ratio of when ratio of land to labor rises what happens mpl also increases so real wage is higher in terms of both good so what happens real wage is higher in terms of both goods for labor thus in a two factor model as in ricardian specific factors case a change in relative price of good has a strong and noticeable effect change in pc by pf leads to such a marked change in distribution and income that owners of one factor gain while owners of other factors are made worse off. So what is our take from here? That is in two factor model which we are doing now of Stolper Samuelson what happens is that owners of one factor owners of one factor gain while owners of other factor 
are made wards of and the owners of other factors are main made wards of so what did we do here so in stolper samuelson theorem what we did is that first of all we talked about that is an increasing price of cloth relative to that of food will raise the income of workers to that of land owners so first of all we talked about the concept which says that relative price between price of commodities and prices of factors we know cloth uses workers intensively that is labor intensively cloth is a labor intensive commodity and food is a land intensive commodity now we also know that is increasing price of cloth will do what if there is a change in relative price will in um, and ambiguously raise the purchasing power of workers and lower the purchasing power of land owners by raising the real wages and lowering the real rent in terms of both goods now give the real price relative price of cloth the ratio of wage to rental rate on the land equal to w by r this wage rental ratio then implies that the ratio of land to labor employed in production of cloth and food must be tc by lc and tf by lf now when price of one cloth rises what happens the wage rental ratio also rise this will cause the land labor ratio used in the production of both good to rise so this will cause the land labor ratio used in both production to rise so in this video we talked about stolper samuelson theorem i hope you guys have understood it if you still have any query or doubt you can simply whatsapp me on this number which is 9836793076 or you can also go to our website which is www. showupsersclasses.com there you will find a lot of other videos like this and you will also get to see a lot of other materials which are needed for different entrance exam so thank you for watching this video and have a nice day ahead